Hey everybody, welcome back to the Professor's Dugout. It is Sunday, so it's time for another mail day. So let's see what we got in the mail this week. We did get uh, some break results from a breaker that I sometimes use called Rip City Cards uh, for 2020 Top Stadium Club Chrome, finally. They're finally getting some of this some of this mail in from December. Uh, and we got a few eBay pickups. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Let's start with a... Uh, let's start with Stadium Club Chrome. So uh, in this break with Rip City Cards, I, I'll leave their information in the description below um, I picked up just two teams you know it was a pretty cheap break it was like a half case eight boxes um, you know within each box you get 14 packs uh, and each box has an auto and some numbered cards and so on and so forth but you know you get kind of that stadium club photography with like that tops chrome finish so the cards look really nice there's an Al Kaline, a bunch of Matthew Boyds, Ty Cobb, Tyler Alexander, Travis Demerit, Willie Castro. That's kind of who I was pushing to pick up a few cards. And I did get a couple of uh, uh, rookie cards for Willie Castro. I did get this refractor for Dario Agrizal. Um, we did get this card, which is the orange parallel for Al Kaline. And that is actually serial numbered, 5 out of 25, one off jersey number. Um, nice card. It's kind of hard to sometimes pick out those refract uh, the refractors just because the way you, you know, the numbered parallels, the way you, you determine what it is is basically by the color of that of the logo so and then we did get an auto so that's kind of nice you know there's you know in a half case there's only eight autos so we did get one for tyler alexander so you know not what we were hoping for but you know if i get an auto i'm never going to complain so there you go then for the Brewers, uh, no, no autos, but you know we got plenty of stuff. There's a Robin Yount, Lorenzo Kane, Keston Hira, Christian Yelich, Luis Urias, Ryan Braun. We did get a couple Tyrone Taylor rookies. We did get a refractor for Justin Smoke and a refractor, non-numbered refractor for Ryan Braun. And a refractor for Keston Hira. So, not, not no hits, but we did get some cards. Can't necessarily complain. And like I said, those, those two teams were pretty cheap. I think I picked up both for like $45 or something like that. So, not, not too significant of a risk. Um, and, you know, like I said, I like, you know, the combination of the photography and the in the uh, the front stadium club photography and the chrome finish, like tops chrome. So hopefully they do that set again. I think it'll eventually catch fire. Hopefully, uh, and people will show a lot more interest. I think they mispriced it because boxes started off at like one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars um, at retailers, and I think that was probably just a little bit too too much. Okay, um, next. So from Bowman's Best, we picked up another Garrett Mitchell Prospect Auto. This is actually the blue version, uh, numbered 65 out of 150. So the reason why you can tell it's, it's the blue version is you see the B in the background for the Bowman logo. You can you tell it's blue, so... So there you got that, and then uh, I did pick up from Topps Heritage 
fine number. I was able to pick up the couple Brewer autos. So one is Trans Trent Grisham, which is kind of weird that he still it, that he appeared in Heritage High Number as a Brewer. You think that they would have fixed that by by this point, but I'm not complaining. I think. Trent Grisham is going to be really good, and I'll take I'll take his auto. And then the other auto I got was for this year's NL Rookie of the Year, Devin Williams. So here's an interesting thing about Devin Devin Williams: Topps Heritage High Number, I believe, is going to be his only autograph that also comes with the RC logo. He doesn't have outside of Topps Update, and specifically the Heritage High Number Real One Autographs, or Certified Autographs, that's the only, those are the only cards that have that they're going to have the, the rookie symbol, rookie card symbol on his card. So I, I bought this one, and I might even pick up a couple others, just because if he turns out to be, you know, a good, consistent, dominant reliever like he was this past season, you know, people are going to want his autograph, you know, his autograph rookie cards. And there's only one of them out there, and that is the Heritage High Number. So just something to keep in mind as you're going out there and you're looking. Um, sometimes, you know... You know, even though this isn't the top power hitter or, you know, Mike Trout or, or Luis Robert, Kyle Lewis, you know, you know, sometimes scarcity in this case, the fact that this is going to be his only rookie card, certified rookie, you know, with a certified auto from tops might actually turn out to be a benefit for some, for some long-term growth, even, even as a pitcher. So there you have it, folks. That's uh, that's my pickups for this week. And you know, nothing, you know, nothing, uh, you know, super, super crazy. But you know, obviously, the Garrett Mitchell out of one hundred and fifty is really nice, and the two, uh, the Trent Grisham and Devin Williams rookie autos, um, will go nicely in my in my Brewers collection, and then some nice cards from Top Stadium Club Chrome. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Go ahead. Leave a comment below. What do you think of these Wix pickups? Do you, you know, what do you think about this Devin Williams? You know, given that it, it is, you know, he doesn't have a lot of rookie cards, and this one is going to be his only rookie auto. Um, feel free to leave a comment below. Go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everybody. Continue to stay safe out there, and I will see you later.